Hey guys, it's Kara here. I just wanted to talk about another possibility that I ran into. Um, by the way, I don't get to see my specialist until clear at the beginning of March, um, so that will be a while. But anyway, I think that it is also less possible than chronic fatigue, but still a little bit possible that I might have um, fibromyalgia. Um, I know that they're kind of on a spectrum, because if you go to see a fibromyalgia specialist, you're going to be diagnosed with that. Or if you go to see a uh, chronic fatigue specialist, then you'll be diagnosed with that. Uh, and that's just what I've heard from a few people's experience, like personal experience. Um, and I'm actually just going to see a rheumatologist. I found out um, when they called me back about making an appointment. So... I don't really know what I'll get, but I do want to bring it up to them that I think it could be possible either way. Um, and with it being on a spectrum like that, uh, it doesn't really work out because I've heard of people being diagnosed with both at the same time, too. So maybe that just means that you're exactly in the middle of the spectrum? I don't really know. But um, as you've seen from a lot of my previous videos, I have tons of fatigue and a lot on the... Um, chronic fatigue side of the spectrum, but I also have a lot of chronic pain, which is more along the lines of fibromyalgia, and it is like fibromyalgia, just completely unex unex unexplainable, I guess, uh, just like muscle and joint pain, and fibromyalgia is more muscle pain, and you have like certain parts of your body that are like the sensitive points where you have more pain, and I don't know, I've just been kind of thinking about it, and I've done a lot of research on fibromyalgia, and if you go through, like, my homepage, I have all these different fibromyalgia videos liked, so I don't really know what they'll come up with there, and hopefully bringing up both options won't, like, delay the diagnosis or anything, but we'll see, um, and the reason I couldn't get in until March was because it's a new patient appointment, so it has to be an hour instead of just 30 minutes. So they had to find a slot of time with a particular doctor that was an hour long. So after that appointment, I'll be able to get in a lot faster if I have to go back for follow-up appointments to do whatever testing is done. Um, but I'm hoping to kind of forward the previous testing information from my uh, local just general practitioner doctor, uh, but I don't know. I did get tested for pretty much everything that I've heard of that can kind of simulate the same types of symptoms, so I don't know. We will see, and yeah, I don't, I don't really know about uh, the diagnosis between fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. Sorry, that is my phone. I shouldn't have had that sitting on the table. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to come on and mention that. Maybe you guys can put in some comments and see um, just from what you've seen of me what what you might think that I have more because I've I've always thought that I've had chronic fatigue syndrome, but then the fibromyalgia it's it's so much of the same uh, symptoms um, like the brain fog that you have with chronic fatigue. That's called fibro fog with uh, fibromyalgia, but then fibromyalgia patients are normally like so much more capable of like continuing their normal day to day lives just because they don't have nearly as much of the extreme fatigue. And obviously, all of the chronic pain does cause fatigue, and then the fibromyalgia itself causes fatigue, but not nearly to the extent that chronic fatigue syndrome does. So. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I, I'm i gonna finish up here though, so I'll see you next video. I don't know what I'll talk about then, but I'll see you.